edit, edit, edit. If you want to improve your photography overnight, learn to edit mercilessly. Get rid of the extraneous, learn to identify the crap. Even the best photographers in the world take shitty pictures. They just don't show them to you. This is one of the first things I tell a beginning photographer. Which is ironic because I've done several of these videos already and I'm just getting around to this topic. Further, I'm only doing it today because my wife mentioned it as a topic last night. Okay, so you went on vacation or a family reunion picnic or you went to your daughter's high school play and you did your best to document all of it because you know you need to shoot more than just 10 frames to get 10 good photos, right? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Now, edit. Edit, edit, edit. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Do not hop on Facebook and post all of your photos. You need to go through all of them, more than once. Pick the best. Slice it down to about 20 to 25 pictures to start with, and then cut it further. Don't show me every single sunset you took. Pick one, the one you think is best. Sunsets are pretty, yes, but we don't need to see them all. Don't post every shot of your cute child playing on the beach. There are one or two that are worthy. Pick them, toss the rest. We don't need to see each and every room in the rental cottage you stayed in. You probably also got many exterior shots of the same place. Pick one, jettison the rest. The trick to keeping people interested in your photography is leave them wanting more. Not wanting to blow their brains out after the 25th picture of Junior trying to build a sandcastle, knowing all the while this is just the beginning of the slideshow. So, learn to edit. Do it mercilessly. Your family and friends will thank you for it. And until next time, good light and good shooting. See ya.